Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so today we are going to look at the passive voice, Unit 9, Language Awareness, page 117. Uh, this is the extension of uh, the passive voice that you learned earlier. Okay, right. Okay, so the learning standard, uh, this is grammar. Okay, the main skill and complementary skill uh, is the same. So we focus on uh, listening, speaking, reading, writing which are not explicitly covered. What is passive voice? The passive voice. Okay, we have the first one is gerunds. Number two, infinitives. And number three, modal verbs. Okay, right, remember, what are they? Number one. Plus, number one is? Gerunds. Gerunds. Number two? Infinitives. 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 And number three? Model groups. Okay, okay. There are three, and the one that you learned earlier. All right. Okay. So. So number one, Jaren. Okay. So this is how you pronounce. Okay, Jaren, Jaren, not Geran, not Geran. Yeah, Jaren. This is how you pronounce it. Okay. So what is Jaren actually? Okay. Let's find out. Okay, so gerund, uh, normally it is verb plus ing. Okay, it's a verb. Uh, okay, uh, what can be uh, the action verb, for example, walk. Okay, walk plus ing becomes walking. Okay, so uh, so I put this list. These are all the verbs. There are so many verbs, but I put some uh, of the verbs here so that you are clear. Okay, sorry, this is build, uh, not building. Okay, so we have swim run climb jump eat sleep cycle all these are verbs okay action verbs okay are you familiar with this yes yes okay you know what are verbs right okay so verbs okay so what about uh jaron okay so okay, walk uh, let's i one example so this is swim okay swim uh, swim is a verb okay so swim plus i and g Okay, this is a verb, so it becomes swimming. So from a verb, plus ing, it becomes swimming, so it, is, it becomes a noun. So now it is a noun. Okay, can you follow me? Yes. All right, okay, very clear, right? So from the list of verbs, you plus ing, it becomes swimming. Uh, it becomes a noun, All right? Uh, so uh, you can also have a verb and a noun, okay? noun and verb so jaron can be a verb and a noun plus ing okay this one i give example of a verb okay now so look at this swimming is my hobby ah so from uh, the jaron is swimming okay swimming is my hobby so this one becomes a noun it's not a verb yeah swim is a verb so swimming is a noun Swimming is my hobby. Okay, so which one is the, the what about swimming? Is swimming a, a, a subject or an object? Subject. Uh, swimming is a subject, yes. Okay, swimming is a subject. Okay, remember, yeah, the, the first, we have a sentence, the first word, okay, this one is the subject. Okay, so now look again at these verbs right so I'm, I'm going to give another example okay the next one is shop okay a shop uh, a shop or to shop okay it can be both noun and a verb a shop okay you know a shop right uh, is a noun to shop can be a verb okay all right okay shop plus ing uh, becomes shopping right or a shop noun plus ing becomes shopping still a noun okay so this one is a verb shop to shop okay so plus ing becomes shopping right i like shopping ah uh, so just now i put uh swimming in front isn't it right <clears throat> swimming in front right now i put uh, shopping okay at the end of the sentence i like shopping uh, is this jared is this still Jared? Yes. Yes. ING, yes. Okay, this is still Jared. Look at the ING there. I like shopping. Okay, so 
what about shopping? Is this a subject or object? Object. Ah, very good. Okay. All right. So this is an object. Okay. Uh, but this one still, this is still Jared. All right. So far, so good. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Very clear. Okay. So the next example. Okay. I still give you the same list. Uh, I want you to familiarize the, uh, yourself with this list because afterwards you're going to try, okay? Try to give me uh, some examples. Okay. Uh, the next one is smoke. Uh, smoke is a verb, isn't it? Right. Uh, smoke is a verb. Okay. Smoke plus ing becomes smoking. Uh, okay. Smoke is a verb plus ing. It becomes smoking and now it is a noun. Okay, now look at this. Smoking is dangerous. Correct? Smoking is dangerous? Yes? Yes. yes. You know that? Adam, do you know that smoking is dangerous? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes. yes, of course, right. Okay, so now, smoking. Ah, so this one is in front, right? Smoking. Right? Yes. Right? The gerund. Okay, this is subject or object? Subject. 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 Okay. okay, this is a subject, yeah? Yes, okay, good. Smoking is dangerous. So, this is one example of a jaron, yeah? In a sentence, jaron. Okay, I-N-G. Okay, now, now, verbs followed by jaron. Okay, this now you look, uh, look at the subject and the object, okay? I-N-G can be in front or at the end of the sentence. Okay, now, I'm going, going to give you examples. Uh, what are the verbs uh, that can be followed by jaron? Ah, so I, these are, but I give you some, yeah? These are some. Okay, let's try this word, imaging. Okay, uh, use this word, imaging. Okay, let's see. Okay, e I imaging. Uh, look at this word, I imaging. Uh, okay, I imaging, and then you follow with a, this is a Jared, I-N-G. Okay, I imaging being watched by CCTV. I imagine being watched by CCTV is not pleasant. Uh, okay, so if you use this word, I imagine being watched by CCTV is not pleasant. So this is a gerund. Being watched, ing is a gerund. Uh, okay, are you clear, class? Yes. Okay, so yes. list of words, yeah? uh, this one. So followed by gerund. There are some words that you have to know that followed uh, that are followed by gerunds. Okay. Right. Uh, this one, I will give you the notes there yeah, afterwards later. Okay, so this is the example. I imagine being watched by CCTV. It's not pleasant. Okay, now let's uh, look at the next one. Next example. Can't help. Just now I, I use imagine. Now I want to use can't help. Okay, so this one normally followed by Jaren. Okay, always followed by Jaren. Okay, look at this example. I can't help. Okay, so you see this verb? I can't help. Then you follow with a gerund. Thinking, I-N-G, yeah? Uh, the verb plus I-N-G. I can't help thinking about my little sister. Uh, are you getting clearer now? Right? Yes, it's you. Okay, so there are some words that you have to memorize. Okay, if possible, try to memorize that. You know, oh, this one I know. This one will follow by a gerund. Okay, I can't help. Right. I imagine, yeah? okay. I can't help thinking. Okay, now I'm going to give another example. Mind. Mind, yeah? Mind. Okay. What about mind? Uh, I, I put the, the, the fan. This is a fan, yeah? So I can ask you, do you mind? Do you mind? Uh, this is a verb, yeah? Do you mind switching off the fan? Uh, if you say, do you mind switch off the fan? It's wrong. Okay, do you mind switching off the fan? Ah, uh, that is correct. Okay, this one followed by a uh, Jared, I-N-G. All right. Are you very clear? Yes. Yes? All right. Okay. All right, good. So far, so good, yeah? Okay. All right, so this works, yeah? Okay, we're going to start. Okay, uh, are you ready? I'm going to uh, choose a name. Amanda? Yes, teacher. 
Uh, Amanda, okay, Amanda. Okay, are you ready, Amanda? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, hold on. Okay, I want you to guess. Uh, you can choose the numbers, yeah? You can use the numbers. Okay, you can choose... Uh, I allow you to choose uh, any... any three. Okay, then try to guess. If you can't guess, then the others can guess. Okay? So, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, just choose which one? Um, four. Number four. Okay, next. Um, 23. Number 23. 23, teacher. 20? 23. 23. Okay, sorry. Okay. This is bonus. Okay, next. Um, 11. Number 11. Okay, can you guess the picture? Um, bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. What can be the activity? Cycling. Okay. Now, can you make a gerund? Uh, make a sentence using gerund? Um, the one that we learned just now? I like cycling every morning. I like cycling every morning. Uh, to cycle every morning. Okay. All right. Are you very clear of that, Amanda? Yes, Jim. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So, all right, let's continue. So, I like cycling is Jaren. Cycling is my hobby is Jaren. Okay, uh, the same table. Right. Okay, are you ready? The next person. <coughs> Who is here? Daquan. Uh, are you there, Daquan? Yes, teacher. Sorry okay, for right. that. Japan, let's try. Uh, okay. Japan, let's try. Okay, which number? Which number? Just random the teacher. Ah, just, yeah, any number. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> nine, yeah. Number nine first, okay. Let's try. This is nine. Next one. Just another number. Ah, yeah, yeah, just oh. three. Uh, uh, 23. 23. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, 27. 27. Let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you want another clue? Um, oh, you can uh, guess? Yeah. Oh, you want oh, yeah, clue, clue. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, which number? Okay, which number? Come on, Zach, one. Wait. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, 33? 33. Uh-huh. Oh. Can you guess? Oh, so 32. 32. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two. Uh huh. Yeah, I allow one more. Um, is that sleeping? Is that sleeping? Sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah, just didn't. Uh, okay. You want another clue? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, what, what's the number? 20. 20. Ah, oh, sudah. <laughs> okay, uh, the others, can you guess? Now, what activity? Uh, what activity? I think driving. You think driving, uh, Visha? Ah, yes. Oh, okay, let's see. I open this one, yeah? Uh, I open this one. Uh huh. <laughs> painting. Painting. In the room. Ah, drawing. <laughs> uh, drawing, painting. Okay, let's see. Uh, between drawing and painting. Uh huh. Oh, okay. 
What is it? Painting. Roller. Uh, roller. So what is she doing? Painting. Painting. Ah, painting. Okay, uh, Zakwan. So, can you make a sentence? Um. You think, Jaren? Sentence. Using passive voice. Yes, passive. Do you remember at the beginning or at the end? Uh, if that's a, the simplest example. Remember we learned just um, now? I love painting. Ah, I love painting. Okay. Or painting. You want to put in front? Painting is my hobby. Ah, okay. That's the simplest example that you can think of. Painting is my hobby. I love painting. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Zakwan, are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay. All right. Okay. So let's try the next one. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, look again, yeah? These are all the verbs. Okay. Now. Okay, who wants to try? Never mind. We skip yeah, the names. Okay, who wants to try? Come on, take the challenge. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Uh, we shall. Okay, good. We shall. Right. Okay, which number? Number 11. Number 11. Okay, next. 20. Number 20. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Is that reading? Is there? Reading. Okay, what is the activity? Can you guess? I guess reading. Reading? Ah. Uh. Okay, it can be reading or it can be studying, right? Okay, good, yes. Reading or studying. Okay, now, a sentence. Reading is... Uh, I love reading in the morning. I love reading. I love reading in the morning. I love to read in the morning. I both can, yeah. I love reading. Oh, reading is my uh, reading oh. is my uh, pastime or hobby. Yeah. Oh.